Are you looking to move to Colorado, but you don't want to live in a big city? You want some space. You want to live in a smaller community. Maybe you're looking for that small community feel. If that's you, we're going to be looking at Alt. Yes, that's right. Alt Colorado today. We're going to talk about Alt and I'm going to show you what Alt has to offer. And maybe this is the hidden little gem that you've been looking for. Hi, my name is Jamie Eklund and I'm a realtor here in the beautiful state of Colorado. On this channel, we talk about all things Colorado related. We talk about the real estate, we talk about the cities, and we talk about the neighborhoods. If these things interest you, then give me a call, shoot me a text. I'd love to talk to you and I'd love to help answer any of these questions you possibly can. And if you are interested in these things, go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification to be notified next time I post a video and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Now I talk to people all the time who are looking to move to Colorado. If that's you, get a hold of me. I'd love to help you make such a big decision. All right, so today we are going to be talking about Alt Colorado. Yes, that's right, Alt. And as the locals in Alt would say, ALT stands for A Unique Little Town. It's cute. I don't actually know what it really stands for, but that's what they have on their sign as you drive in. Now, ALT is a very small town. We're talking around 2,000 people, but it's close to Fort Collins, it's close to Cheyenne, and it's close to Greeley, relatively speaking. Highway 14 from Fort Collins to Alt is a direct route. And so you can be in Fort Collins in around 10 minutes. So it's really not that far away. Now today we are going to be looking at the two different neighborhoods in Alt. And really it's the, the two neighborhoods. There's not a lot of neighborhoods in Alt. Now the first is going to be one that Bessler built and it's gonna be the Costiga neighborhood. Now they started building it in 2012 ish and they're still putting houses in there. And so they're still going to be building this neighborhood for a little while, but there are some uh, houses in there that are fairly well established. It's got kind of a cool park and it's on the West side of alt. So you have quicker access, not that the East side would be much farther, but you have quicker access to Fort Collins. And like I said, this is the new neighborhood. The other neighborhood in Alt is really just the city of Alt. It's really not a neighborhood in and of itself. It's the rest of the neighborhood. Now, in this neighborhood, you're going to find houses that are considerably older. You'll find houses in this area that are all the way back to the early 1900s, all the way to probably the late 90s is probably going to be the newest uh, house you'll find in this area. Most of this area does not have an HOA. And so if that's something you don't want, you don't want that HOA, this may be a good place for you. You're not gonna have that stipulation, but your neighbors aren't either. And so you have to take that into consideration. Now, a lot of alt is gonna be centered around the school and main drag of Highway 85 that goes right through alt. And that's where you're going to find the gas stations. You're going to find um, a couple restaurants. You're going to find a uh, coffee house and things like that. There's a few boutique uh, shops as well. There really isn't going to be a lot of amenities within Alt. That's why people like Alt is because it doesn't have those, but it's close to the places that do. 10 minutes you're in Fort Collins, 15 minutes you're in Greeley, and probably 25, 30 minutes you're in Cheyenne. So not too bad. And that's why people flock to alt by the ones or twos, actually. So not quite a huge flock. But anyways, if these things interest you, I would love to show you some properties in alt. I'd love to answer the questions that you have about alt. And I would love to help you make the decision whether you should or should not move there. I'm also going to be including a relocation guide down in the description. If you are thinking of moving to Colorado, download that guide, it's absolutely free, and it's gonna help you make the decision whether you should or should not move to Colorado. 